At Grace Kids, we believe in helping kids become like Jesus by loving God and serving others. We are in week three of Opposite Day, and our big idea is our enemies help us to learn to love. Let's go check that out. KK, how was school this week? Um, not the best. Not the not best the at best all. Not the best again? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm telling, okay, let me tell you the whole thing that went down. The whole okay? thing, tell me, tell okay, me. Okay, so. I'm at the lunch table, right? <laughs> this, lunch table. Mm -hmm. This bomb lunch that my mom made. Bomb lunch being good. Exactly, being good. Bomb is a good Sorry. thing in yeah. this situation. Slang. Okay. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. um, but guess what? This what? kid. So, first of all, look at my hoodie, right? Tar Heels. Oh, Tar Heels! Tar -Heels! Yeah. My Tar Heels fans in the house. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, guess what? What? This. I look to my side. I'm eating my PB&J. Yeah. And I look PB to the side. Okay. And this kid has Duke on. <gasps> Boo! No! He okay. has Duke on, guys. Okay, so what and did I was you like, I was just mad. You know, I, I actually got up in my seat and I was like, I'm gonna go to the next seat because I just can't be seen with but, you. I can't be okay. next to you. Okay. Because Tar Heels rule. Tar Heels for so, life. But he's an actual person outside of his basketball team. True, but I love basketball. Like basketball is life at my home. So he can, he can seem like an enemy, right? Right. But our enemies help us learn to love better. <sighs> easier said than done. I, mean, I know it's someone... way easier said than done. Yeah. Can someone... And remember that he's like actually not your enemy trying to fight you. He True. just he just likes an opposite basketball team than you. True. We we can agree to disagree. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You can't. Just don't talk about basketball. True. That's so. That's gonna be so hard. Can can someone can someone help me, like forgive? Is anyone can help me to forgive <laughs> this person? Let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna work on this. Pastor Scott, we have an issue. What's the problem? It's really a big deal. <gasps> that's a big problem. Mm -hmm. I think we have to say the words. So there's a new verse. Blank, 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 blank. And it's found in blank. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just said yeah. Sandra, does it? No, it, is it doesn't. Issue. I think it might be our verse we've done the last couple weeks because the look at the length of the lines. Oh, the one that's like, mm, 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 mm. that one? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, All right. so what is that first short line? My. 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 You are correct. And I think the next word is grace. And is. 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 Service says yes. Sufficient. For you, for my power is made perfect in. It's another long one. Weakness. Now, Pastor Kate, do you remember where it's found? It's pretty long. Second Corinthians twelve nine eight. That's impressive. Now. Can we go back and put it all up there one more time with no words on the screen? Can we do that again with just the blanks? Let's click on it and see if we can see if it's just no words. Click, ah! click, click, whoop. Now, let's put the lines back up there. Let's put the lines back up there one more. Voila. Oh, this is so, so what stressful. we're gonna do now is we are just gonna mouth the words and then the kids and possibly their parents or grandparents who are watching with us right now are gonna say it with us. Are you ready? You ready to mouth it? One, two, Great job. We'll see you next week. Our Bible story today is found in Luke chapter 6, verses 27 through 38. But before we get into the scripture we're talking about today, I have a question for each of you. The question is, what makes a person an enemy? Is it the way that they treat you? Is it the way that they treat somebody else? Is it, is it the way that they, uh, maybe they're selfish? What makes somebody an enemy. You see, we could spend all day long talking about, we could spend all of our energy just being angry at people because they're our enemy. We can find all of the reasons to be angry at anyone we want to because there's a lot because we're not perfect. Well, today in our passage of the Bible in the book of Luke, we hear God telling us to love our enemies. He said, love one another. He said, pray for your enemies. He said, be generous to your enemies. You know, I can't imagine praying for my enemies, loving my enemies, being generous to them. People who are actually mean to me, that 
God is asking me to do those things? That sounds really hard, doesn't it? It's almost like we're trying to push up this rock bigger than ourselves up this mountain because people are mean and it's so easy to be mean back to people. But Jesus is teaching us something really, really important that I think each of us need to know. And it's this, that we need to do unto others as we would want them to do to us. We need to be kind to others just as we would want them to be kind to us. We don't know a person's full story. We don't know why anyone acts the way that they act, but we do know that we have an opportunity to love one another. And the cool thing is, is when we love one another, we love our enemies, that is a direct representation of how much we love God. Because God loved us first. And so that means we can love him and them and all of the people in the world as well. Now the thing is, like I said, it's hard to love your enemies, but it is really easy to love people that are nice, right? You see somebody who, who helps somebody pick up their books when they drop them on the ground at school. And you're like, oh, that's a good person. I can love that person. But it takes a really amazing person to love somebody and not expect anything in return and to love them and not get anything back. Love them even when they're mean. Love them even when they're being unkind to people around them. To love our enemies, to love those people, even when they don't love us back, even when they aren't kind to us back. And that amazing person can be us, and we can learn how to do that by the way Jesus did it to other people. You see, Jesus, throughout the whole Bible, and especially in the Gospels, showed us what it means to love each other and our enemies. Jesus was being so loving and kind throughout his whole life when people threatened to stone him because they didn't believe what he was saying because he was saying things so crazy to them. When people came up to him just wanting to be healed and they didn't care about getting to know him, he was still loving. Jesus loved so much and we can do the same. Okay, so we can be dedicated to doing good, but it doesn't stop there. So we have to choose to love one another. The next thing is we have to check our hearts. Why are we loving one another? There might be one day when we are so selfless, we are doing everything that we should be doing correctly, and we're like, hmm, I am so good at this. I am the most selfless person around. I am the greatest person there is. You know, we could get a little arrogant, a little prideful, right? And because we're so good at loving others. There's different, so many stories in the Bible where that happens, where somebody's like, ha, I am dropping in. 10 gold coins and thinking that that's the best. But you know what? When we check our hearts, we can decide, are we doing this because we want to show everybody how awesome we are? Are we doing this because that's what Jesus did and he wants us to do the same? So friends, step one is to love one another and even our enemies. Step two is to make sure that we're loving people because Jesus did it, not because it makes us look good. All right, so we learned today that our enemies help us learn to love. So I have two buckets with me. I've got this bucket and this bucket. So you guys are so smart. So let me ask you, which bucket weighs more? Okay, is it this bucket or is it this bucket? Now, by looking at the size, you probably have already determined that the bucket that weighs the most is which one? Is it this one? Give me a loud applause if it's this one. Or is it this one? Of course, it's this one. When this is the one that weighs the most, it's the biggest bucket. It can carry more stuff, right? And when it comes to our enemies, it's so much easier loving people, okay, who think like us, who do things like we do, okay? It's when somebody's different and it's harder and heavier because they don't do things we do that, to love them. But Jesus would say that you have to love those who don't love you and those who persecute you. You still have to treat them with love and respect. It's easy to love the people who love us, okay? This is easy, it's light, doesn't weigh much. But the reality is, you gotta love them, but you also have to love the people that are just a little bit harder, because when you love them, you're showing them the love of Christ. Miss Ashley. Yes? You know how sometimes we have enemies in our life? Yeah. And how that can be like really, really hard? Yeah. But wasn't it awesome today to hear how our enemies can actually help us to learn to love? Yeah. 
even though that's like really hard. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that because it's so hard that we should probably do something about that. Yes, we should close in a song. In a song? Yeah, you know, saying like, no, I don't think we need to sing. How about we pray? That's a, that's a better idea. Let's okay. do that. God, we know sometimes having enemies can be so hard. Please help us to learn how to love them with your help. We thank you for that, God. Amen. Amen. Have a good week. Bye. Hi, Grace Kids. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Down below, there are going to be some fancy little shapes. Here, there's going to be a playlist where you can find all the Grace Kids videos that I make for you. Then if you skid down along over to the other corner, there's going to be a box that has the video from the week before. This includes if it is in a different month than the month we are in right now. Then in the center, there's going to be a circle, not a box. And this is going to be a little Grace G. It is blue and white. And this is where you're going to be able to subscribe to this channel so that you can keep track of all the Grace Kids videos that I make for you. I hope you have a great week. And remember, love God, serve others. Out. <laughs>